Yo, what is up guys? Do you want to learn how to make a really, really cool rounded webcam look just like this in under five minutes? Let's go. Does your stream need healing? You've come to the right place. My name is Dr. Heels. I am your content cleric and I make videos just like this every single week to help you build a bomb brand on a budget. Yo, does your stream need healing? You've come to the right place. My name is Dr. Heels. I am your content cleric and I make videos just like this every single week to help you build a bomb brand on a budget. I love to see your guys' streams succeed. I would love you guys to come over and hang out with me sometime over on Twitch. I stream every Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at twitch.tv slash Dr. Heels. Um, and also guys, I wanna know what other videos should I make? What other questions do you have? What other cool stuff do you wanna learn how to make? Uh, what kind of scenes or transitions or alerts? Just let me know down in the comments before i'd love some more ideas from you guys on what you actually want to see made on this channel but with that said i don't like to waste a lot of time during intro so let's get into the good stuff let's go okay so first thing you're going to do uh, if you want to build the one like mine how you see it right here with this little box if this is what you want to go for then this is roughly the size artboard you're going to want i'm running about a 600 by 800 this is completely up to you though you can change it uh, to any shape you want what you're going to do though you're going to go to elements um, and you're going to go to shapes and so these are all the shapes you have to choose from your camera can be a heart it can be this shape it can be any of these that you you want it to be literally it is up to you on what you want your shape to be uh, for me i just want this nice rounded webcam so i'm going to go and grab a rounded shape just like this one uh, i'm going to resize it about how i want it to look so then like that maybe bring it a little bit longer okay perfect now what we're going to do is we're going to take and make the background black all the way black make sure it is a full black and then we're going to make this foreground white so now you should have a white square on a black box, you're done. Congratulations. You can click download, download as a PNG or a JPEG. I'm gonna download JPEG because it's a little bit smaller. Uh, bump that up to 100% quality and click download. Okay, now that that download is completely done, we're gonna jump over here into OBS. Okay, so you see, uh, you're actually looking at my OBS right now. I have a secondary recorder, I'm hoping it's working. Um, but you're looking at my OBS, and so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new scene okay so we're gonna name this one for me i'm gonna name it youtube full cam um for you, you probably just want to name it full cam and it's going to be exactly what it sounds like it is simply going to be your camera so video capture device um and for me i'm just gonna add existing because i know it's already here it's gonna be my game camera too that is my main camera so now you're looking at just my face we're gonna do nothing else to the scene this is the trick next you're gonna do uh, i'm gonna call mine youtube round cam or star cam or heart cam whatever you want to name it this is simply for you um, and again it's just going to have your camera in it and so rather than going to a video capture device i'm now going to pull in a scene um, and so for that scene i'm going to click it and i'm going to pull in that youtube full cam now here's the trick rather than applying the filter directly to this because if i apply the filter to this it's still going to apply it to this full cam and i'm going to want to use this full cam during my full screen mode and so I don't need to mess it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the scene itself and I'm going to go, I'm going to right click on the round cam scene itself and go to filters plus sign, choose an image mask, just like that one. Click OK. Um, from here, we're going to browse. And we're going to find that image we just made the white on black, just like that one. And there we go. Now, what I love about this method is say you don't play directly center of your screen, you're actually over here somewhere. You can click your camera and drag it to where you're centered in the image. You can't do this if you apply the image mask directly to um, the, the video source itself. So I'm gonna drag it back. Um, now, if you had anything else you want to put in here, if you see mine, I have my little scrolling credits. Um, you can add any of that in here. It'll be masked out with this shape. So the perfect time to do some sort of masking like that. Um, but for me, this is fine. So now I'm going to create my game scene. And so I'm just going to call this YouTube game scene. Okay. Um, and now immediately, first thing you want to do is, you know, hit the plus button, go and get your display capture, your game capture, whatever you use. Um, go and capture that. Next thing you want to do is you're going to want to capture your camera. So what we're going to do again is a scene capture. So we're going to click scene and we're going to scroll down and we want that YouTube round cam. And you can see when we pull it in, it's nice and round shrink it down resize it put it wherever you want you know 
This is completely up to you. It can be whatever shape you want, however you want it. If you want a drop shadow on it, now you'd add that little drop shadow behind it. Uh, maybe if you're using Stream FX, you can apply the drop shadow directly to it. Um, you know, it is the world is your oyster, as someone somewhere says. I don't know who says that. Anyway, this was a quick, easy tutorial. And just like that, you're done. It is super easy to do, but it looks so, so clean. I highly recommend this look for anyone. And also, you can choose any shape that you want. All you need is a white shape on a back black ground. I'm sure you can Google search and find something crazy and find some cool grunge stuff or some, uh, I don't know, Japanese lettering, some, I don't know, anything like that, and make it work just like we did in this tutorial. And that is the quick and easy way to add an image mask to your camera without adding it to every other scene. Guys, I hope this was helpful. If it was, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I do make videos just like this every single week. Also stream over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Dr. Uh, on Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I would love to see you guys over there. All right, I'll see y'all in the next one. Show me how to be a pro. Oh man, you wanna be a pro? Oh, you came to the right place. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Pro, pro, I don't. Welcome. Welcome. To. To. The. The. Hillbillies. Hillbillies.